Hello everybody. Digital Hero asked if I would model such a Palmolive bottle. Um, here is the end result. I will not model the top and I will only model the outer shell, not the liquid, because this would be a repetition of other tutorials I did. But the outer shell here, especially this seam, which blends into here, is quite an attractive shape and I wanted to do this. I apologize, I have many other requests, but I do favor the ones which I think I can do in a reasonable time. So let's start here, close this one, go to model view and go to a new mesh and make the backdrop visible. This is exactly uh, the one I used for the label and I will use this one for the modeling. So here is this interesting seam and as I already said I will only model the top part and not the lid and the cap. As so often I will start with that part of the geometry which will dictate uh, the rest. So this is definitely the seam. I start with the square from here to about here. Make it four millimeters wide and center it in Z and X. Then I move it to the left by minus two millimeters. So this side here is exactly aligned uh, on the center. Now I make sure that this is uh, here a bit outside so I don't bend it on the wrong side as I did when I did the first model. Okay, so front view again. First thing is uh, I must loop slice this with, uh, I use a count of 11 and uniform, that's good. Then the next thing is we must uh, twist it around the Y and I reverse this and as you can see here this blends in to the side around here so this means this comes to yeah maybe one more to here and here it's not completely flat it has also some angle so I will put this end about to here. Now we can twist it by minus 90 degrees and drop the tool. <clears throat> Next it's not only twisted it's also bent. So I go to the side view and I select the top polygons, not the bottom two, and then go to deform bend. Bend from here, yes, good, uh, 15 degrees, drop the tool. Now I select the last four, use the bend tool again from here, yes, and bend this back so the top segment is more or less straight, like so. Good. Now back to front view and I want to see the vertices and now we can better in wireframe mode we can move these 
vertices to where they belong. So here drop the tool Good. Now we can uh, make sure that this vertex is exactly vertex set position 0 on the x, mm, was almost. And now we can duplicate mirror on the x, apply and check if they have merged here. No, let's do this manually. Then Z key and then I bring this down to about here or key. Mm, w a bit more or key again. Like so. Then vertex join averaged. Good. Now I put in a polygon in here. So P key. Then I go to the very top perspective. This must be out a bit more. W key. And then select these two edges here. This, this one and bridge. Select these here and deselect the top and the bottom and bridge. And I think I need mm, first this one must go up a bit W. Like so. And I think I need some more geometry, but first I want to see where this vertex lies. W key and move it a bit so it's more in line with the rest. So front view again and then shift C and Cut through here, shift click, shift click. Mm, maybe we don't need all of this, but we can uh, delete if not necessary. So, edge mode, I select an edge in here, Alt C, put the count of one, yes, and then we need to know the position the Z position of this vertex, 17 point, okay, copy, escape, then I select all these vertices here, then go to vertex, set position, control V on the Z, perspective, Let's see, yes, and now I want to move the top down a bit so it is aligned to the flow of this bottle. Before I uh, move anything else, so R key and W bring it to about here. Okay, good. Next, let's see uh, how this looks in OpenGL and without the vertices. Not bad. So, I select 
these edges, then front view again and get a linear fall off from here to about here. And I want to have it on easy. W key and lift this up by six millimeters. We can always bring it up higher if it is necessary. Like so. Drop the fall off. And let's see. Yes, good. Now we need to uh, model the bottle shape. This was this tier uh, shape Digital Hero mentioned. And for that I select these edges and deselect the top ones like so. And Z key move this and let's see R key make it flat W key bring it a bit closer to here like so then I select some polys in here L key control X N for a new mesh control V then move this a little bit like so and rename this mesh this is the bottle this one here is mm, just a temporary temp and then we can go to the front view again and In vertex mode, select these vertices, W key, and bring them down to here. Then I put symmetry on the X, select, uh, drop the two, and select these. Okay, now we can uh, control X this, go to our bottle, control V, and then perspective, um, still in uh, symmetry, select these two edges here, and bridge, select an edge in here, double click and deselect the top, and bridge again and here is our bottle and I think to make really sure we are aligned here I will select all these edges here R key and make sure they're flat R or R and once more and then we start to fade out. Let's see. Perspective. Yes, that looks good. That looks very good. Okay. Now the seam here is uh, way too soft. It's hardly noticeable and we change this. First I select all these polygons here 
and this one. Hit the B key for bevel and bevel this on the red handle and make sure we don't get the problem down here, like so. Drop the tool. Now we need to get rid of or to change this edge here, otherwise it will look strange, like about so. Then we can delete these edges and we should hold the top of these edges already better. And we do. Yes, now I put in two edges in here, two and symmetry about to here and then we can uh, get rid of these n-gons with the C key and cut the edge through here and we are still in symmetry and got it on the other side. We have now all quads and this looks already much better. If you want to, we can add a single edge in here to make it even harder, but I think I will not do it. For me, this looks good. Okay, now um, in side view, I bring up the grid W bring this close to here, then deselect top ones and go to vertex, set position, zero on Z, OK, duplicate, mirror on the Z, apply, And I ran the mesh cleanup, which automatically has merged. Now I think this is a bit wide, so I delete the middle one, R key, and make this a bit more flat, so it looks a bit more elegant. And then uh, the bottom should also be about the same size as this here, so another fall off linear here, make this zero, 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 and I want to have it an ease out R key and make it about the same width as the top here, like so. Good. Now front view again. Let's subdivide this and make some adjustments. We are still in symmetry, yes. So I take this one, W key, uh, these edges here, W, These polys, W, and that's about it. Good. Now I use the bottom polygons, R key, and flatten them. And we need to put something in here. I don't need this backdrop anymore to make the bottom a bit more flat. So I put two edges in here, Alt C with a count of two and uniform, and then I can select these here, W, now R key, and bring them out like so. And here we are. As I said, that's it. I will not do the inside, 
because this is just a copy of this one, which is flipped. I will not do uh, the liquid because this is a copy of the inside and I will not do the cap because I think you can do this very well yourself. For example, if you look at my uh, at my ketchup bottle tutorial, this should give you some ideas. So that's it for today. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye-bye.